Hello, my name is John Capobianco, and what I'm going to about to attempt using nothing more than AI agents. Now, let's take a step back. What does that mean, John? What are you talking about AI agents? How this works is we define tools. So there might be a create tool, a delete tool, a read tool, an update tool. Not much more than that. Some simple tools that are decorated in Python as at tool. LLMs now have tool calling capability and we call this the action. We can mix the reasoning capability of LLMs with the action calling capability known as react agents. Nothing here is hard coded. Nothing here is deterministic. Nothing is predetermined. The AI uses its reasoning and the tools it has access to to achieve certain goals, to answer certain prompts, to, in my case, configure devices. So I have multiple agents. We're going to look at the topology. There's two routers, router 1 and router 2, connected to switch 1 and switch 2 in a very simple topology. I have removed the IP addresses and the descriptions and shut down the interfaces connecting router 1 and router 2 and router 1 to switch 1 and router 2 to switch 2. These interfaces need to be enabled. They need IP addresses and ideally descriptions. I have another tool for NetBox. Now NetBox is a cloud source of truth. You can run it on-prem, you can run it in the cloud. And it's by source of truth, I mean I'm going to input in NetBox these devices, these interfaces, their IP addresses. This becomes my intent, a source of record or a source of truth in NetBox. So if I run show run in ETH101, does the IP address and does the description match the intended config? So when we come up with these topologies, we typically put all of our intent into NetBox or YAML or some source of truth. So that way there's no ambiguity. When a network engineer looks at a config, is it right? Is it wrong? Well, what, what determines whether or not it's right or wrong? Just because something's working doesn't mean it's necessarily configured correctly in the world of networking. Can we refer to a source of truth? So I've blanked out four interfaces. They're all shut, there's no IPs, there's no descriptions. With a simple human prompt, can I instruct my agents to get the required information from the source of truth and apply configurations to these four interfaces restoring network connectivity? It sounds ambitious. I believe the agents will work, I believe this will work, um, and it's it's remarkable and it has drastic implications and I need with all of us to think about what this means and think about where we should be putting our focus and our energy. Let's take a look. I'm going to draw it up in Excaladraw for those of you that prefer a visual approach to learning. Let's draw it up and let's look at some visuals next. So we have this topology. I described it. Router 1, Router 2, each connected over Ethernet uh, Ethernet 1, uh, 0, 1. Okay, so we have these two back-to-back, peer-to-peer interfaces, point-to-point -point interfaces. And then we have Router 1 has ETH 0 connected to Switch 1, and Router 2 has ETH 0 connected to Switch 2. Okay, now... What these interfaces used to look like, right, the interface and IP for ETH00 zero, zero, and the configuration for ETH10 uh, is in here somewhere, right here. And now, if you can see here, right, if I do a show run int, ah, show run int ETH01, zero, 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 there's nothing. The same on router 2, nothing on 0, 0, nothing on 0, 1. So it's broken. So let's see if we can use our agents. So we're going to have, right, the network operator. So I'm going to give the instructions. 
to a parent agent, a main agent. This agent is going to interact with the netbox agent and interact with the two routers. Okay? And the netbox is hopefully going to return the intent and the source of truth, which then the main agent is going to call. Now, I've actually missed a layer in here, right? These are all agents. This is the netbox agent. This is the router one agent, router two agent. And these are going to make the CRUD activities to, you know, the netbox cloud, if I can draw a crude cloud, and router one and router two are one. R2. So we have a main agent interacting with sub agents, interacting with APIs or PI ATS, the network automation solution to drive the configs. Okay, so in Netbox, if we go into our devices, devices, I've set up R1 and R2. Let's look at R1 first. And we can see that it has two interfaces, ETH00, with this IP address associated with it, and ETH01. Let's go back to that, sorry. With the point to point IP address. And router 2 looks very similar. So let's give this a shot. Let's bring up our conversational interface as well as our logs. And we're going to say, can you please use the netbox information and configure all interfaces and IP addresses on R1 and R2? That's ambitious. Can you please use the netbox information and configure all interfaces and IP addresses on router one and router two? So let's give that a send and let's check out our logs. And let me crank the zoom up here for everybody. So it's talking to netbox here and it's getting some information from various APIs. And now, right, it has the thought process. It's going ahead and making some calls here. And now applying configuration on router one. So it's on router one now. And it's applied the two interfaces configurations. The IP address on 00, which is correct, and the IP address on 01, which is correct. Now it's back on router 1. It seems to think it made a mistake. Now is it going to connect to router 2 here? We're on router 2 now. And let's see if it's going to configure Let's try it again on router two. I had a bit of a syntax issue. This time it looks correct. And now it's disconnecting from router two. And those are the correct IP addresses. So now we should have an answer back that says, all interfaces and IP addresses on router one and two have been configured successfully with Netbox information. Ha, <laughs> ha, let's take a look. So we're, let's go to router one. Let's go through all four interfaces. Show run zero zero. Show one zero one. Show CDP neighbors. We have neighbors with router two. And I don't know why we don't have neighbors with switch one. Maybe CDP is not running or something. Now let's check router two. 
and we've restored connectivity and configured two interfaces with the source of well that's pretty scary <laughs> that that all worked right four interfaces different subnets different uh, subnet masks different IP addresses two different devices from a source of truth call makes a few calls gathers what it needs from netbox through the agent determines the running the configuration commands for router one and router two calls their agents and pushes the config from a single prompt we have just brought up four links two links with four interfaces pretty cool right